I think the biggest risk most banks have is are they going to be able to move fast enough? A lot of people talk about agile, and, and agile is lo a lot more than how our developers you know, think about how to approach an issue. Agile now is really a group coming together of subject matter experts from each walk of life, of someone who's a true developer, but someone who's a product uh, manager who really knows how to listen to the customer or the client. And then the real test is can they take that and put it together as an idea and bring that story to life. And if it's not right, can they kill it and come up with the next version fast enough? You know, an example of agility right now is a piece of work that Stephen Bird, our CEO of our consumer business, has hosted. We know we have to be mobile first, and we're doing a lot on mobile. In fact, we were early uh, to mobile, but really being all in on mobile uh, is a team that we've set up over in Long Island City. Uh, with about 100 people that are uh, operating in a very agile way. It doesn't look like a bank. It looks much more like a creative team. I'm seeing the speed, uh, the curiosity, the execution at levels I've never seen before. On the consumer side, perhaps the most exciting uh, was how fast we were able to come up uh, with a product offering for the Apple Watch. I got a phone call on, uh, the day the announcement was made between IBM and Apple that they were going to work together. And someone asked me from our consumer business saying, could we be the first app, financial services app? And we worked with the senior team at Apple, with IBM, and with Citi. We did it in 120 days. It's not just the uh, peer bank down the, uh, down the road or across the ocean. It's going to be oftentimes what's in the, uh, in the valley or a startup in Silicon Alley. And I welcome that kind of competition. It makes us stronger and that much faster. I think there's a lot we can learn from them. Uh, the common denominator most of the startups have that I have a chance to visit is they truly have a blank slate. Because of that, they're able to take the art of the possible and have it come to market quite swiftly. It's going to require fresh thinking. We, in the last five years, really have rebuilt City. We've changed uh, all of the significant platforms globally and we've been able to get dramatic savings as a result. We are on state-of-the-art technology uh, across city and running at optimum uh, cost structure. We have to do that again over the next five. And I would, looking back, I, I, I would say that some of the success we had uh, today looks very obvious. Looking forward to the next five years, it doesn't seem that obvious to me. Uh, so I think as a culture, we're gonna have to become very comfortable embracing the cloud. Our, private cloud, our multi-tenant cloud, and yes, our public cloud. I think we're going to get comfortable with that in, in terms of uh, the idea of true automation. We're going to have to get comfortable with, uh, uh, I would say, robotics and machine to machine and true cognitive. The question is, how do you actually apply that within city? So the culture and the curiosity of our tech team and our operations team is going to be having to look at the opportunity for, for change. I will give you one example there uh, that I, I find particularly important. It was uh, around looking at an operations function's accounts payable. And as we looked at it, we realized, well, that's repeatable work. And it's, it's fairly predictable, so that's perfect to put a, a, a bot on it, as they call them. The so people who are doing those jobs, whether it's in Budapest or Tampa uh, uh, or Costa Rica, they would like to be doing jobs with even higher judgment so they can be delivering more value, so they can be you know, growing in their career. And then the third part of the culture I think we need to change uh, as we uh, change again is really embracing uh, data. Uh, data is truly the lifeblood of this organization from my mind. And we're seeing the wealth being created for our clients and our customers by us helping them uh, at all stages of that. So I think big data is gonna be absolutely uh, uh, an area in which we're going to need more focus and uh, really become expert at, uh, at driving values for our, our clients. We were able to look at the supply chain for a very large manufacturer uh, and look at every relationship because we have the data and we are permission to look at it. And we could see every aspect of the supply chain down country by country 
almost by sub-supplier and then sub-supplier. And what you could see is opportunities for synergies. You could look at opportunities for cost saving, rationalization, but you could also look at opportunities for M&A. It gives a, a different dialogue with the CEO and the CFO. And uh, I, I really think in, in my career, it was one of the first really great examples of where I could see uh, such great complexity presented in an easy interface so I could see the uh, really the graphical insights that were there and then turning those into business ideas. So it's a, uh, for me, it's a, 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 a foreshadowing of what's to come. Talent's just a, such a critical uh, area of focus for us and for me in particular in the technology space, uh, it is one that I spend a lot of time. I would spend, I probably spent over four hours today on talent, on interviewing talent, on trying to solicit talent, on working with my team on the overall uh, talent agenda. Right below our window is the borough of Manhattan Community College. Now it has 27,000 students, and most of them from areas without privilege. And what we're finding is within those halls are people who love computer science. They're from all sorts of countries. It's a, a wealth of opportunity. I, th I think to compete with startups, we've got to make it exciting and we've got to be purpose-based. I haven't run into uh, one uh, person at a startup who's there simply to do a job. It's the passion about building a business that we need to tap into.